Hi, I'm Sam from Bitrix24 Gold Partners Interface. In today's demonstration, I'm going to present to you our brand new help desk module for the on-premise edition of Bitrix24 that allows you to manage your client support requests. I'm going to show you, first of all, how you can create tickets inside the help desk via email submission to a mailbox, then also via web form submission and manual entry by your support team. We'll then see how we can manage those support tickets through a customizable support workflow and then automate support communications to the client, which will save significant amounts of time for your support team. And very importantly, we'll see how we have a two-way integration between the help desk module and the Bitrix24 CRM. So it's possible to view all of the help desk tickets of a client directly inside the client's page. Okay, so let's go into our help desk module. So first of all, we can see on the menu on the left-hand side here, we have our help desk. And we can see here all of the tickets that are currently being worked on inside our help desk system. So let's first of all take a look at how we can create those new tickets inside the help desk module. So first of all, we can create tickets via email submission to a particular mailbox. So we can integrate your mailboxes and then have those emails automatically create a new ticket inside the help desk module. So here we have an email. So we have a subject here, billing problem, and we have some more information about the issue. And we can see we're sending this email to a specific email address. So a support at email address. So let's now send that ticket into the system. And what we'll see is that will now automatically create a new ticket inside the help desk system. So your support team are then gonna be able to work on those new tickets automatically. So we can see the new ticket here with the billing problem. It's brought through all of the information from the email, so the subjects and all of the, the body of the email, and it has automatically connected the client from the CRM system. So this is the first way we can have a ticket automatically created in the help desk module. The second way is via web form submission. So we can build forms inside Bitrix and then those forms could be embedded onto a web page, for example, or you can decide how those web forms are displayed. But here we have a, a web form so we can fill in the information about the issue. And with web forms, we can set up conditional fields. So let's say if I choose technical issue here, for example, I then need to input the technical problem. And then I can fill in the rest of the information inside the details of the query. But you can customize this form to your specific requirements to decide what you need to capture. Okay, so we filled in the information here and now let's submit that inside the system. Okay, so we can see we've been notified. The ticket has now come in, so we can see ticket 75 and the details then about that request have come into the system. So if we just open up the ticket page here, you can see it's brought through all the, the information from the form, brought through the client details. And now we've had some automations take place to thank the client for their ticket. So we can now start working on that ticket inside the system. And then the third way we can create a ticket is manually. So first of all, inside the help desk area here, we have the create button. So our agents can also manually create a new ticket inside the system. So we can fill in the necessary information. This talks with the CRM system so I can search and find the relevant clients inside our CRM that we want to connect the ticket for. And then I can fill in the rest of the information like so. Okay, so this is where we can then fill in all of the details and then we can create that ticket inside the system like so. So those are the three ways that we can create tickets inside the help desk module. And as you can see inside the help desk module here, you can see there are different stages that we are progressing our tickets through. Now, those stages are completely customizable. So you could have as many or as few stages here as you require 
You can change the terminology, the colors to how you would want your support tickets to be processed. And we can also set up different pipelines. So if maybe you want to segment your tickets into different categories, you have the option here to create different pipelines and customize the stages inside those pipelines. And as we progress those tickets through those stages, we can also set up automation rules. So this could either be communications to the client. So for example, as soon as the ticket comes in at the new ticket stage, we are sending out an email to that client, thanking them for their submission of their ticket. And we're now gonna be working on that ticket in the system. So that's an automated communication, saving your support agents time and responding to the client immediately. Or we could set up internal activities such as tasks for the support team to complete, to start progressing the tickets. So as you progress through those different stages of your support workflow, we can set up internal activities, notifications, or external communications to the client to streamline your support process. Okay, so now let's go into one of our support tickets that we are currently working on. So we can set permissions. So if you want your support team to just see the tickets that they are working on, we can set filters to drill down into that information. And inside the ticket page, we can see the details about the client here on the left-hand side. And then we can see all of the different information that we have about the ticket. And you can create custom fields here to capture specific information that you require on your tickets. And on the right hand side here, we have all of the communications that have taken place. So we can see all of the email communications here that have taken place with the client so far. We can also have an internal comment section. So if we want to communicate internally, we can add comments into here, which are then saved on the ticket. Okay, so we can save all of that information inside the ticket and where we can then progress a ticket through different stages. And as you can see here, what we can also do is we can put rules in place on any field. So if we're progressing the ticket, it's important your support teams are capturing all of the relevant and up-to-date information. So these rules ensure that your agents are inputting and capturing the correct information before the ticket can be progressed any further. So we can put all of those rules in place for you. And so we can then complete all of the information on the ticket. So all of the history about the ticket, every stage change, any email communications, all of this information is saved. And we can also set up frequently asked questions using templates. So here inside the email, page, we can use templates to quickly respond to our clients. So if we need to say reset the account, we could automatically have the template created and then it's dynamically populated with the client's details. So we can easily respond to support tickets in a timely manner. And all of that data is then saved inside the help desk page. And now let's just take a look at a ticket that we're, we're nearly completing. So if we move to the wrap up stage here, we can see a ticket we have nearly completed. So we can see all of the history of the ticket inside here. And once the ticket's completed, we can mark the ticket as completed inside the system. And that will then drop the ticket out of the in progress tickets here. So you have a filtering tool to be able to drill down into any tickets through the system. So any custom fields you create to maybe segment your tickets, we could use those to create filters inside the help desk module. So for example, I could drill down to look at all of the tickets where there are technical problems. So I can drill down into that information. If I wanted to see all of our completed tickets, I can drill down and see all of that data here. So you have all of that history saved inside the system. Okay, so that's a view of all of the tickets inside the help desk module. Now, what we have done is created a two way integration. So the information from the help desk system also talks with the CRM. So if we go into our clients database inside the CRM system, I'm able to view all of the support tickets that any of our clients have raised. So if we go into one of our contacts inside the CRM, Inside the contacts page, we can see here we have our help desk tickets area. And I can click into there, and then I can see all of the current tickets that are being worked on for the client. 
And what I can do is I can automatically go into any of those tickets directly through the customer's page. So you have this seamless two-way integration between the help desk module and the CRM system to view all of those tickets inside the system. Okay, so that's a high-level overview of our Bittrex 24 help desk module available for the on-premise edition. If you do have any questions or if you'd like a further in-depth demonstration, please do contact us, sales at interface.com, and we'll be happy to discuss our help desk module in more detail with you.